Buffalo Bills cleaned out their lockers the morning after their 10-3 playoff loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm Mark Gaughan with Bucky Gleason for the Buffalo News. Uh, a real feel-good, far better than expected season. Uh, Bucky, the players said all the right things about uh, building for the future. Uh, obviously, uh, building is the key word, right? I mean, they're, they're probably taking a step back after the season. Yeah, I think they're just getting started. I mean, they should feel good about breaking the 17-year playoff drought. They played well. I thought they overachieved in a lot of ways. And there were some real highlights of the season. They had a, a winning record uh, for, what, the third time, you know, in, in the time of the playoff drought. But there is a lot, Mark, a lot of work to be done. And I think if this team wants to get into playoff contention every year or most years and they want to contend uh, for a Super Bowl every now and again, then this is a team that's a long way away. And, you know, they have a lot of work to do. That starts upstairs with the front office. It continues into that locker room. They have to find a quarterback. They have to, there are needs on this team that they're going to have to address. No doubt about it, and uh, it starts with quarterback, and it's, uh, I mean, certainly Tyrod Taylor played his last game for the Bills. Uh, I mean, it's not, who knows when it's going to be official, but, uh, I mean, there's no way uh, he's coming back. Uh, Kyle Williams said he is still thinking about it. Uh, it would be great. He went off on a high note. I mean, Kyle's going to look at it and see the same thing. I mean, they're not. They're probably going to be a longer shot to make the playoffs last year than they were this year, don't you? What do you think about that? I, I agree with that, Mark. And I think, you know, last week when I sat down with Sean McDermott, there were a few warnings that he kind of threw out there, uh, that there are warts on this roster and, you know, that sometimes you take a step back, the second year is harder than the first. Those are all little signs that the, the Bills themselves are preparing for a tough season. And another thing is, is that you're not going to sneak up on anybody anymore. You know, this is a team that nobody really took seriously for a good part of the year until they were, you know, and they were five and two. Then you saw some pushback from, from the rest of the league. And what happened was a three game losing streak. So, you know, other teams are going to be more prepared for this team. I don't know that the talent level will be the same as it was this year. There's a lot of work to do. We have to find out what how Brandon Bean performs in his first offseason, his first draft. There's a lot of question marks that remain. A lot of question marks. Although, you know, if Sean McDermott and his staff can get this group of players to 9-7, and seven, <laughs> that bodes decent for the future, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, it okay. tells you that you have a good coach in place because he did more with less than any coach probably, you know, going back to – I don't know, Chan Gailey maybe. I mean, he had uh, – Doug Marone had more talent. Rex Ryan had more talent. Maybe Gailey might have had more talent. There was not a lot of talent on this roster, and they were able to somehow, one way or another, get this team to nine wins. And with a little bit of luck from some other teams, Bengals, they were able to sneak in the playoffs. So it, there's the appearance of success, and then there's actual success that can be sustained. Right now we're talking about two different things. From One Bills Drive for the Buffalo News, I'm Mark Gaughan with Bucky Gleason.